rallies. Anguished parents are speaking out, calling it an execution. Megan Fitzgerald reports. Tonight, anger and frustration pouring out into the streets from New York to Minneapolis. Overnight, horns and lights blaring in protest after a warning that police now say Locke wasn't listed on. Body cam video capturing the deadly encounter on Wednesday, just before 7 a.m. In seconds, the officers enter the apartment where Locke appears to be under a blanket. Police say a gun slides from underneath and officers open fire. The officer had to make a split-second decision. But that decision took the life of Karen Wells and Andre Locke's son. Put yourselves in our shoes. Never would I have imagined that I would be standing up here talking about the execution of my skin by police nearly two years after Breonna Taylor was killed while officers carried out a no-knock warrant. Now the mayor of Minneapolis placing a moratorium on the controversial policy. Everyone knows about the dangers of no-knock warrants from uh, Breonna Taylor and so many others. With Andre and Karen, we just tired of it. But their fight for justice continues. Megan Fitzgerald, NBC News.